Yo, 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 what's up, MG fam? It's your boy, Coach McGraw from back. Back with another episode of the Texas Southern Dynasty here on NCAA Basketball 10. Okay, so what we got here, baby, we got a conference game going up, man. We going up against the top team in the conference at this moment, Colorado State. These guys looking pretty good this year. They got one of the top point guards in the conference. And you can see we're sporting this 12-8 and eight record. And our last game you guys saw, we was up against um, San Diego State. And we were able to beat them, but we simulate some more games here. As you guys can see, we lost to San Diego State the last time we faced them, which was a simulated game. We're going to go through that. But first and foremost, we're about to get into the conference standings. Show you guys how the conference is panning out right now. So let's check it out. So on the top right here, you guys can see Colorado State, man. We're going up against these guys next there. 3-1 in the conference, 12-5 and five over the season. These guys on a three-game winning streak. In number two place, we got Wyoming. We were talking about those guys in the last video. We're going to go up against those guys soon. We'll see how these guys looking this year. They got two great players. New Mexico is next. Brimham Young next, which is BYU. You can see us right there at 4-3, and three, baby. 4-3. and three. We looking pretty decent in the conference. We like in the middle of the pack. It's our first year in the Mountain West, so, you know, the competition is kind of strict for us. We're trying to get a acclimated to it and we're gonna be probably one of the top seeds going into the tournament so like i can say the team with the biggest winning streak is colorado state and san diego state with three games three games baby but we're gonna try to get a streak going ourselves and hopefully you know by the end of the conference schedule we're at the top two or three teams so let's right now let's go check out the games that we simulated we simulated a few games um, since our San Diego State game, as you guys can see, we beat San Diego by two. Then our next game was was against the Utah Utes. So let's check this out. So we were able to beat these guys by five points. A uh, pretty decent first half for both teams. Neck to neck, we was only leading by one point. But you can see in the second half, we pull away, man. And we put 40 points on the here. They got a lot of offense coming out of theirs from Tim Alexander, their point guard. 27 points and the shooting guard gave him 18 points so grant vilma showed out him and mike soto 28 points maybe his career high season high right here and bassy man still in the starting lineup is showing that he's off the bench but he was in the starting lineup this game with 29 minutes and he put some points on the head also and our next game we went up against tcu another team from texas and we were able to beat these guys by you know six points you can see right here man we be neck to neck going into the first half but following the first half in the second half, we normally pull away. As you can see, my boy Vilma went crazy again. And Bassey, another one. 17 points. These guys doing pretty good in those simulated games. And they, you know, handling their business. On their side, Sam Gaines, the power forward from TCU. 34 points, man. Three, four for four from three-point range. Hey, this kid's a power forward dropping it like that. That's pretty interesting. So our second matchup against San Diego State didn't go pretty well. These guys wanted revenge on us, and they took care of us from the gate. These guys had 14 points on our head uh, lead for 14 points on the first half. Second half, we had a chance. We only averaged 29 points per half. Ended up with 58 points. You can see Grant Vilma did his thing. Augustine came back in the start lineup, a little nagging injury. So he got 15 points. Shooting 6 of 15, not that great. But on their side of things, these guys have four of their starters in double digits. 17 points from Abrams. Maxwell, 22 points. 16 for Sweeney and 13 for Patton. So right now, man, what we about to do is get into this game against Colorado State. We about to see how it looks when we get it on, baby. You can see these guys right now. B plus. B plus half court offense. Let's go. On behalf of Dick Vitale and myself, welcome to tonight's Mountain West Conference matchup. What makes conference games so intense is that many of these kids have a connection with someone on the other team. Whether it's AAU, prep school, international ball, or summer leagues, they're friends off the court, but on the court, it's all business. Yes, sir. We here, and you can see right there, man. We gotta, we gotta get this thing established first and foremost. Look at this court, man. It's one of the most interesting courts in this game, the Colorado State Gym. Back here in 2009, pretty interesting graphics on the court. But on the tip off, these guys got it. They got it here up top. That's the top point guard in the conference right there, you guys can see. But down bottom, they're going with the first basket, and they get it in in the low post. And we're ready for it. This crowd is going crazy. They think the team is going to be the winner of the conference tournament this year. They think they're going to go out with the victory. But we're going to show these guys otherwise. Pass down in the bottom, and my boy hated Augustine gets a foul. They're pretty quick. 
pretty quick foul for those guys. But here we down by four, man. We got to get it going. So good defense, Daryl. Almost lost the ball on the inbounds, but we got the ball back here. And my boy Butler pulls one from deep, and he drains it, baby. He get in that corner. You got to get on him. If you don't get on him fast enough, he got you. So down bottom, my boy Soto, you know he gets those blocks, baby. Rim protector at the finest. And my boy McPherson looking for somebody here. No break. The break was slowed down. And my boy Butler in the corner thought he was going to jack it here. But my boy McPherson set the screen. And Buckley find Augustine very deep. Can he knock it? Not able to, man. Augustine is back in the lineup. We're looking for a big night for him. He's 100% healthy right now. And we're going to think he's going to give us a big game today. So right here, your boy got the ball. Let's see what they got. They pass it up top, down bottom again. Soto, can you get another block? Oh, man, not able to. But we got the Oh, they got the board. I thought we had it and they get it back, bro. This kid right here is a pretty good offensive rebound. All right, so we down by one point here. Let's see if we can get some established. Almost had a steal there. Could have gotten in the lane. It would have been very big for us. All right, so Buckley is on the on the guard right there. He tried to get some another block from my boy Soto. And let's go with it. Come on, Vilma. Can you move a little faster? But Buckley's over there in the corner. Ooh, made a pump fake. Pull up the midi and drain. Can't get caught. Can't get caught slipping because we're going to capitalize, baby. Let's go. So right here, 10 to 10 is tied up, man. It's been a low scoring first half. 11 minutes left, almost halfway through the first half, and we only got 10 points. It looks like it's going to be a low scoring game. So the point guard pulls the midi and drains that one, bro. We got to get out there on the Moseley. You got to make sure you let them know that your presence is there. So Moseley comes with it. Vilma pulls one deep from the corner and knocks it down. One of the top players in the conference this year. Let's go. So Bassie is out there now, baby. Y'all know Bassie go crazy. He goes crazy. Mosley on the defense. They're going to try to double team. Okay, up top there. They're going to try to get to the low block. They got it out there on the um baseline. And they pull it up. Look at it, the foul and the contact. St. John got up in there. Nice little spin move to draw contact. And he gets that one in there. Yes, sir. So he got it up in there. So you can see us right here. Buckley is going crazy like normal, man. We'll probably get one of these highlights each game. Each game, Buckley is the one that's going crazy, catching fast breaks, you know, pulling three points. Nice little fake there. I love that one. That was beautiful. Got to catch him slipping, like I always say. Let's go, baby. So we up here. Down by one point. Let's try to take the lead here. Let's get a great defensive stop. McPherson is out there. We playing the passing lanes like normal. Let's see what we can do with it. All right, so they got it up top, and they're going to try to get over to the other point guard, and he pulls one and knocks down the three, man. Put these guys up by four points. Let's go. So my boy McPherson takes it. And he's ready. Let's get this pick from the boy Bassett. The young players in there. The young boy, nice little pick and roll and a big clutch and dunk on there, baby. That's what I'm talking about. You guys want to get familiar with the young boy there? He's going to do what he got to do. Let's go with it, McPherson. Let's do it. Let's get another stop on defense. Let's get another stop. All right, so we up there with it. Buckley is down. See, they got good hands for Bassy in the paint, and let's go. The boy Barry right here is trying to do something else. He loses it there, but we get it back and finds Buckley in the corner. Jacket and buckets. Big drains, big jam, baby. Let's go. All right, so we out here on the inbound. We up by seven, actually. We up by seven. Looking pretty good. One minute and 33 seconds left in the first half. Can we get in the passing lanes one more time? Almost stole it there. And yes, sir. You can see the standings. We at the top <laughs> number two spot right now, bro. The top two. Colorado State is at six right now. I guess based off of just games won. But you know these guys are the number one team in the conference. I don't know why they put more game. If you want more games above the team with less losses, that's crazy. So let's go with it. My boy Vilma got it here, 33 seconds. We're gonna find my boy Butler up top again, leaving room. Are you crazy? Put us up by seven. Two nine seconds left in the first half. Let's see what they do, man. You're gonna try to not get these guys an open shot. Let's see. Buckley is on the defense. He found a little lane wide open in the midi. What did we do there? He misses it. Luckily, he misses that one. That would have gave these guys the. A five-point deficit going into the halftime, bro. But we're able to get on top of the one of the top teams in the conference. Seven points in the first half. We're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good, my friends. So let's go with it. So halftime, you can see, man, we're running the floor like we want to. We're doing what we got to do to, you know, get out in front. 41% shooting from the floor. They shooting 31%. That's not going to hold up for the second half. So we're going to have to, you know, shoot a little better because these guys are not no 31% shooting team. So, foul trouble. We got a couple of our big men in foul trouble. And, and that boy St. John going crazy. It's nine points and six rebounds on us. And we putting up a lot of shots. And they're also putting up a lot of shots also. So, they're running our pace of um, basketball here. They're half-court team. So, long as we keep the pace up, we should be good. So, on the inbound here, 
My boy McPherson passes it. Oh, we had a lane there for my boy Augustine, but nothing is there. So we pass it down to Augustine one more time. Can he get a little drop step? No move is there happening. And Soto gets it right there, knocks it off the side of the backboard. Come on, big Soto. You got to do better than that. So you can see the field goal percentages there, man. We're shooting 9% better than these guys. But look at the point guard right here. He's going to try to do his thing and get his team back into it. So all right, you see the little wrap down there. He's probably going to pass to the post. A little hesitant move right there. Double team. Can we get a steal here? No, sir. Down bottom with it. And he gets it in there. They've been looking for that low post the whole game. So we're still up by seven here. The point guard got the ball coming down. 16 minutes and 52 seconds left. Let's see. Right here, we got to get some points on the board. It's been a low-scoring game all game long. So they're going to go down to the post. You see him right there setting a little screen. Can we get our hands on Soto? Got his hands on it. Now let's push the floor, baby. Soto's in the middle. Can we get a dish to him? Nice when he slid through and gets the basket. All right, so right here we up by five. They're trying to make their way back into this thing. So McPherson goes with it. Nice little move and couldn't get past him. Almost loses it there, but Augustine able to save it. Let's get the pick here. What can you do for us, Augustine? Pass it back up to Fear. Fear kicks it to Vilma. Vilma looks for Augustine down there. Well, let's see if we can get something to Soto at least. Soto, can you do something? Nothing is there for him. We're going to set a pick here, baby. Set a pick with Buckley. Buckley didn't find anything. He finds Soto. Nice little backdoor cut. They took their eyes off of him. You better keep your eyes on the boy Soto. The boy Soto go crazy. You know it. All right, so Mosley gets it to Soto right here. We got to get it back. And nothing. they're not falling for the pump fake. So we're going to set the screen. And can we pull a jumper here? Oh, they leave some room for my boy Mosley. And he bangs it in there, boy. Nice little pullback. And Jay, let's go. So we up by two here. They climbing back in. And Mosley in the corner bangs another one. That's what I'm talking about. Mosley ain't been hitting the threes like usually this year. But those some two big threes there put us up. And let's go. So now we're up by nine, baby. A little bit more cushion. Seven minutes left. All right, so they try to come with the pick. Almost tripped up there. And he's going with it again. Again, and almost had a steal, but he gonna spin, pulls the J, not that, but they got the offensive board and puts it back up in. And number 23 is a huge kid. And the afro make him even taller. Let's go. So we still up by nine. Colorado State looking like they're not giving up. This half court offense is not working for them. They're gonna have to speed it up here if they want to win this game. So we got it right here. Almost had a steal. Look at the spin move. Pass it to the dog down there, the point guard, and they put it in there with contact. He looking for some foul. Hey, let's go. Let's get with him, McPherson. Let's go. The, the tempo is pretty balanced, and it's kind of favoring the outside, but, hey, we still got to stay with it. So, pump fake. Nice move from my boy Soto, but not able to hit it. Come on, Soto. You got to knock that down, baby. You got to knock that down. We only up by five. These guys climb their way back into this one again. They're a little pests, man. They're a pest. They cannot be dead yet bro they keep climbing back in and aggravating us let's go so let's go with it he got up to the big center so they're looking for the point guard over there let's not get him any room for a jumper and he's right there and look at there nice little move and he gets that in there too now we only up by three these guys claw their way back in it come on defense we got to step up on the defensive side offensively we got it right now let's go so my nice pass to my boy Augustine, I'm about to say Soto, but Augustine got it here and put it back up in there. There you go. Get your own rebound. A three-point shooting has been going very great for us this year, and we've been knocking it down steady. We ain't lost our scribe. My boy Buckley is heading the team in three-point shooting, and he keeping us in games and giving us cushion leads so we can, you know, have a little more comfortability with it, baby. So two minutes and 20 seconds left. My boy Murphy in there. You guys ain't see him all game. So Murphy is in here, and let's see what the young boy got for us. He's trying to do something off the dribble. Nice little move there and takes it to the paint but gets blocked on the layup. And these guys are pushing it back up court. They're not finding any urgency in their offense. They're still trying to play half court offense with two minutes left. Maybe they know something we don't know. He takes it to the paint, takes the contact, and bangs it in. And one, he's going to go for and one here. That should be a three-point play. Let's see if he can get the free throws here, baby. Look at the move. He got it up in there. So, you know it. You already know what time it is. Two minutes left. We're going to try to see if this guy going to miss. So, he's 50% on the day at, at the free throw line. Two for four for on the free throws, bro. Let's go. So hopefully, he misses this. No, sir. He guaranteed that. We only up by one. And now, we're up by three, baby. Let's go. One minute left. Let's see what these guys can do. Let's see what they can do. 
So we got our hands in the passing lane like normal. He going down with Soto. Give us that block, baby. Big block from my boy Soto. And Augustine is going all the way with it. Finds his brother Buckley and bangs it. Knocks it in and give us that lead, baby. That's what we need, that cushion lead. So here at 19 seconds left, we up by seven. My boy Vilma at the line. It looks like the cat is in the bag. And we got another victory against one of the best teams in the conference. We looking to, you know. We looking to take down the top dogs. Who want to be the top dog next? Because we're coming at your neck. Let's go. So, he knocks down the first free throw. Can he knock the second one? And yes, sir. We up by nine points here. That should do it. And they're going to bring it down court. They know what time it is. So, they're not even rushing it. They're going to probably get one more shot up. And we got our hands in the passing lane and another steal. And look who's going with my boy, McPherson. But we're going to hold it here for the last shot, even though he jumped. And we're going to go out here with a victory, baby. A victory for the TSU Tigers. Another one. One of the best teams in the conference. We are the best team in the conference. They just don't understand. My boy Butler had 21 points. He probably shot all three points. <laughs> Let me stop. But he got 21 points, three assists, player of the game. We're looking pretty good, bro. We're looking pretty good. So I know the nation is taking recognition to what Texas Southern is doing this year plus last year so I know they're not looking at us like Cinderella's but in our mind we're still Cinderella's because we know everybody's doubting us and that's the end of the game 71 points 62 for those guys and we got the victory so now let's get to the stats baby so you can see my boy Soto there six points only one rebound though man what's going on with that but Augustine came in and gave us a good game in his first full start back 13 points five rebounds one assist and Vilma nine points and seven rebounds hey he got more rebounds in the center and the power forward put together <laughs> and Butler with his 21 points and three assists is pretty good McPherson five assists four points not a lot going on there so you also can see my boy Bassey, he did his thing. But already there, Mosley gave us seven points, which we needed, brother. Seven points, which we needed. And Barry also four points. And, man, that's a pretty good game for our guys. So on their side, you know, the point guard, we shut him down. He had only nine points and two rebounds and three assists. But the shooting guard, he was able to get a little something going. 13 points and three assists. The only person they had in double digits in the starting lineup. Off the bench, look at the boy St. John. St. John is there with 15 points and 10 rebounds. Man, that was amazing for him coming off the bench, saying that he got way more points than everybody else. They might think about putting him in the starting lineup soon. So the team stats, baby, let's check it out. So you see us right there, man. These guys out rebounding us because you know we put up a lot of shots. So we got to put up a lot of shots so we can have a chance in most games. So the steals, they stole the ball more than we did, but we blocked. You know, we have a block party every night, bro. Every night, block parties here at TSU. And you already know the turnovers. We limited ourselves a little better than the last game, but hey, still 12 turnovers is a lot. Free throws, man, we capitalized. Capitalized, we hit 10 free throws, 71%, better than normal for us. We got to, you know, keep nailing them 71%. Let's try to get that percentage up. And then you also know that the field goal percent is 47%, almost close to 50, man. 50% night is very great if we could get that one game. 37% from three-pointer, almost 40%. That's pretty good also. These guys shot 33, but we hit seven three-pointers. Buckley probably hit all of them to get his 21 points. <laughs> Sorry. But so, um, in the offensive rebounds, we did our thing, man. We got two. They got six. But that's the end of the game, the end of this video. I appreciate you guys for watching the video. Hit that like and subscribe button, that notification bell, and holler at your boy, MG Fam. Let's get it.